Let's go to Leanne now with some furniture restoration that sounds pretty darn new, uh, unique. Well, Ladies. it's really fun, Michael. And I have to say, I, I said if I were to stand still for long enough, I knew Katrina would paint me. But it's actually because I touched the paint. <laughs> it's okay to touch this type of chalk paint. It actually, it doesn't, it doesn't have a smell. Nope. You see, it's actually easy for people to use in an unventilated area. Yeah, it doesn't. The paint does not have a smell. It's water-based. It's eco-friendly. Very easy to use. You can use it in your house. Katrina Barclay is the stockist of Annie Sloan Products here in Ottawa, and you opened uh, a boutique workshop where you hold workshops in Britannia. Yeah, that's right. It's been a year and a half now that I've been in that location. And her story, the backstory, is always interesting. You moved home, you were working, or your husband was studying abroad, moved back here, and you needed furniture. Yeah, exactly. Pretty simple. We needed to restock, we needed new dressers, we couldn't find anything that we liked in our price range so we started buying old furniture and repainting it and to our style and it was after um, I was doing that for a while that I discovered chalk paint um, fairly new to North America just been here about four or five years been in England for 20 years um, but it's fairly new here and it, yeah I loved it well we're going to show you a lot of transformations because it's Friday and if you were wondering what to do this weekend and you have something that looks a little bit tired or outdated here is one photograph illustrating all of the pieces Katrina's brought along and has on the counter everything you're looking at has been chalk painted and so let's just that's the before let's look at our counter oh that's a dresser. We're going to show you the uh, transformation. <laughs> of, let's show this transformation now since it's on the screen. This dresser you thought was a little bit meh. Yeah, I loved the style of it, but it was damaged. I didn't like the hardware. So I painted this in a color called Antibes Green. Uh, very a modern finish, clear wax on it, new yellow crystal knobs. And um, it's a completely different piece now. Well, let's go through all of the potentials. Let's okay. show the transformations sure. you've created to offer the inspiration. Then we'll talk about what you've brought along. This piece. Yeah, midway in progress. So heavy, heavy piece. I wanted it something quite bright and fun. So I did it in blue. This was a mixture of two chalk paint colors. That is gorgeous. And you can find some pieces like this affordably because people... People don't want them. Mm -hmm. They just don't want the brown. They uh, Yeah, there we go. So that's... Um, I refinished the top in wood, which is also very easy to do. I can tell you how to do it if you come into the shop. Painted the base in what we call old white, and I did the clear and the dark waxes to get a bit of antiquing, and I used the original hardware. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I have this one in my bedroom now, actually. I kept it for myself. Um, it's a Gibbard dresser. Uh, a lot of people don't like the idea of painting a Gibbard, but I was very happy. I love it now. Old white, or sorry, pure white. And then I did antiquing with different colors of gray, painted the, the handles. I'm oh. nuts about this. It's beautiful. Okay, just yeah. a, a shelf, a boring yeah, old. Yeah, damaged, nicked. really damaged. Yeah, Paris gray is the color. I did wallpaper along the sides, um, clear wax, just totally transformed. It was a $5 shelf. Okay, this really appeals to the people who are watching because <laughs> yeah. we all have some junk. Or we're at yard sales and we find stuff and think, ah, oh, this may have potential. So this is an end table? Yeah, this is a little side table I bought next door to my shop. There's actually actually a, a, a secondhand furniture shop so um, I got this there and I painted it in lovely Antoinette pink which is what the chair we'll see in a minute is also in uh, some distressing uh, this is so this is a, a basic pine table everyone has seen these everyone has that one. yeah yeah with other junk on it I love it I redid the top in again different stains I'm you know I can tell it's very easy to do and I painted the base very easy to paint that base in graphite we have a few more images we will uh, we'll share. And so this is a coffee table that has lived a long life. Yeah, and it's quite boring, really. There's nothing <laughs> interesting about it. I, I left, I, this is one of the things I love doing. I make wood stripes. So I keep some of the natural wood, and then I paint out the rest of it. So uh, again, quite easy to do. Some painter's tape, some stain. Uh, this is another one of my, my ones with a soft spot. Now that looks like a big project. How long would it take the average person, not someone who's bionic with chalk paint, how long <laughs> would it take the average person to do you, that? You can do this in a day, honestly, if you have a whole day. The paint dries within 30 minutes to an hour. You do the wax. This is a simple technique, just solid paint, clear wax. This is um, this dresser is I did a little bit differently. This would take a little bit longer because again I did the wood the drawers in wood. So I redid the drawer fronts, restained them, but then the rest of the dresser I painted one 
thin coat of old white and I sanded it to distress it a little bit. Now while we focused on wood for the most part, when we come back, Michael, Katrina is going to show us how you can paint glass. You can paint metal, you can paint fabric, you can paint pretty well anything. anything. We'll tell you more about that in a short while and we'll talk about how much it costs to do this. Yep. Let's go back to Leanne one more time. Lily. All fingers and paws crossed on that <laughs> front, yeah, sure. Michael. Having fun behind the scenes here, looking at all of the magic that Katrina Barkley is able to create. Katrina owns Malenka Originals. And before we show some of the fast transformations, the name is really special for you and it relates to furniture. It does, yeah. I named the business after my grandfather. Um, his name was Daniel Skibo, Skibo. Sorry, In Calgary, he was a French polisher and that is the highest art of furniture refinishing. So I grew up around auctions and this amazing priceless furniture. So I hadn't I didn't think about that for, you know, 25 30 years and then when I started working on furniture, I felt an instant connection to my past and to him. So he used to call me Malenka and it means little one or darling in Ukrainian. Oh, so it, yeah, there's a real connection there to him. Well, we want to offer you as many tips as we can in a short period of time. So we want to show you a before picture and Katrina has, that's the before. So this is what these pieces of furniture looked like when, yesterday? Yesterday, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, until late last night. Here it is, here's the other lamp. Uh, <laughs> and this is what they look like now. Have another look if we could. So you did, this was your overnight homework? Pretty much, and yeah. And it's dry enough to bring to the studio? It is, no, the paint dries so fast. You can wax it, it's ready to go the next day. Um, I'll just walk you through some of the things that I did. So this lamp, the um, other one that Leanne has there was the before. And uh, just one of those kind of lamps that might have been nice 10 years ago, but it's not our style as much anymore. So I wanted something nice and bright and fresh. Painted the base in pure white, did a bit of sanding to, um, to show some of the metal underneath. To create a patina. Exactly, yeah. And then, um, and then I painted the shade in this nice, uh, this nice turquoise color. So that brings us back to the fact that you're able to paint fabric and you painted this I fabric. I painted the fabric of the chair. This is the most amazing thing because you have a chair, you don't want to reupholster. Paint it. And it doesn't come off when it you're It doesn't close. come off. It kind of feels a bit leathery now, but mm -hmm. it's not. I mean, you could still sit in this. It's very nice. And so, so with wax and with other techniques that you can teach, mm -hmm. like the silver on the table or the, the gold wax on, I guess, this, well, this mirror. This mirror, this is interesting. This was a, it was a, a gold mirror before. I put one coat of paint on and then I took a wet sponge and I just wiped it off to show some of the gold underneath. When you first brought the product line to Ottawa, I know, uh, uh, our interior decorator, decorator Leanne Lacroix brought some on and showed a few of the different things that you could do with chalk paint. Yeah. But you've also brought along uh, glass because yeah. it stays on glass. It stays on glass. So you painted glass bottles. Yeah, these, these old pharmacy bottles. Um, just paint them, use them as nice little vases. Just it gives a real burst of color. Now how and about ugly kitchen cupboards? Kitchen cupboards, yeah. This <laughs> is something my customers are just so excited about. I'm excited about too. Take your old kitchen cupboard, give it a good washing down, paint it. You don't have to strip off the old surface, you don't have to sand it, you can just paint right over it. That's the key. So no stripping, no sanding, and for those who have ugly cupboards, this doesn't really even count as an ugly no, cupboard. No, that's yeah. not too bad. There's really bad ones out there, including uh, yeah, some that I've done myself. Now I asked house. the cost. How much would it cost to do, say, a piece of furniture? Uh, well, the paint comes in two sizes. It comes in uh, this uh, quart size, and it comes in the little sample sizes that we have over there. Um, this is $42. It seems like a lot, but you could pretty much do a whole bedroom set with this. You Whoa. can do a big dresser, two nightside tables, a, a headboard. With and when it. you think that you don't have to pay for stripping or the elbow grease of sanding, exactly. that's appealing. All right, I will hold up this table, which you say needs... <laughs> Needs a little it needs TLC a bit of work. Yeah. makeover. I, I bought it for $15. It's a great table, uh, has some damage. We're gonna just put some old ochre on it and you're gonna see uh, right away that the paint is quite thick. I'm probably gonna need, need two coats of this, but the nice thing about, uh, well, there's a lot of nice things about chalk paint, but it's very, very easy to use. Now, Katrina, what if you're not patient? 
You don't have, well, this is made for people who aren't patient, actually, because it dries fast. You can just, as Annie Sloan says, who's, who's created the paint, you just can slap it on. You don't need to be uh, really particular with it. You just get the paint on, you let it dry, you put the wax on, have the piece ready and in the hallway the next day. So it's part of the charm and the wax does give it the finish. And of course, uh, Katrina offers workshops. This was an abridged version of the workshop, <laughs> but you do offer workshops. And one of the things that you said is such a delight for you is that a lot of women are doing this out of their home now and selling the pieces that yeah. they actually transform. It's so Whoa, oh, timbers are hey, here. Mirror fell, but we, it, didn't it didn't break. break. So we're okay. Okay. So there's only good luck. And we have a link to uh, Malenka.ca on our website. Michael, fun, hey, for the weekend. Well, I'm glad that mirror didn't break. Thank you, ladies.